This is the USS Philadelphia. It was one of the best warships that the Navy had. So when it got captured, in an embarrassing way, the American Navy came up with a revenge scheme that would become one of the most thrilling sea stories of its time. Seriously, this one feels like it came straight out of an adventure novel. Anyway, the Philadelphia. She was sleek, she was fancy, and she was in hot pursuit of fleeing Tripolitan pirates. Full speed ahead! Captain Bainbridge charged forward, but they were in foreign water with lackluster charts. The water close to Tripoli was not well marked, and shallow water was a serious threat to the Philadelphia. Captain Bainbridge knew this and was cautious enough to have three men continually measuring the depth of water below them. Forget it. Turn to starboard. Turn to starboard eye. They were hard aground and surrounded. The captain tried in vain to free the ship. Still stuck. Eventually, he made the hard choice to surrender. The crew was captured, and then, to make matters worse, only two days later, the pirates were able to refloat the Philadelphia and take her as their own. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Seriously? Not surprisingly, the American Navy was not pleased with the situation, so they came up with a plan. You want me to sneak into a heavily fortified harbor, light the Philadelphia, the largest ship there on fire, and then escape? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. The crew was hand-selected for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh. Their ship would be a previously captured Tripolitan catch, now called the Intrepid. After only a few months of preparation, the crew disguised themselves as Maltese merchantmen and set sail. Under the cover of darkness, the Intrepid entered the harbor. The harbor was protected by shore batteries, Tripolitan ships, and the Philadelphia herself was manned, cannons loaded. HALT! The Tripolitan guard called out to the Intrepid to bear off. An Arabic-speaking crew member of the Intrepid was disguised as the captain. We lost our anchor in the storm! Can we moor up next to you? Sure! They approached. Lines were passed. The plan was working. Except the Americans hadn't stowed that lost anchor. America! The Americans were quick to respond, swiftly boarding her and taking the enemy crew by surprise. Battle broke out across the ship. The pirates that could fled the ambush. The plan was to light the Philadelphia on fire, so they set explosives throughout the ship. Within 15 minutes of the attack, the Philadelphia was up in flames. The blaze nearly set the Intrepid on fire, but the crew was able to cut away just in time. The heat from the fire reached the armament, causing the cannons to light off, sending a final artillery strike into the skies, possibly hitting the fort that held her captive, as if, in her final moments, even the ship fought back. Woo. It's said that Lord Nelson called this event the most bold and daring naval adventure of her era. Of course, the legitimacy of the quote has been called into question. However, quote or no quote, still cool. All my sources can be found in a link below. I want to make more videos like this, so if you liked it, let me know, and maybe sub.